One of the most common features that people struggle with out on the trail are steep, tight, rocky switchbacks. Pretty steep, it's pretty tight, it's not quite 180, I'd say it's about a 160 degree corner. Here on the inside line, we have a lot of roots and a lot of the loose stones that have been dragged down from the top. In the middle, it's actually quite nice and smooth. This is the line that most people are sucked into, but then they like to try to slide the back wheel around like a rallied car. But then we have the problem of these rocks on the outside, which just want to catch the wheel and high side you out over the back of the corner. On the way out of the corner, we have a lot of really loose stone that has no burn behind it and a pretty uncomfortable drop into the spiky bush and down into the river behind. Some of the most common mistakes that people make uh, would be coming in too hot into the corner, not scrubbing their speed off. It means when they're in the corner, they're breaking really sharp. They're sliding out, washing out. Another one would be looking dead ahead, coming into the corner. They're focused on the drop on the outside of the corner. They're not focused on their line the whole way around, or they're really focusing on one of the little rocks that's right in the middle of the trail. There's a lot of different things that can go wrong in a corner like this. This being one of them, you've run too deep into the corner, got your bars are turned to almost 90 degrees. If you keep rolling, you can hit a little rock. It's really hard to balance. You could tuck and fall into it or the front wheel could wash away from you. There's a few different ways to avoid situations like this. And it all starts with the setup, which we're gonna show you now. Because it's so steep coming down into the corner and there's a lot of loose stone, it's important to have really smooth brake control. This will stop you from skidding out and losing control and pushing you deeper into the corner and really help you stay on line. At this point, we want to have all of our excess speed scrubbed off so that we're entering the corner in a nice controlled manner. So we're setting up nice and wide, standing in a neutral position over the bike. That way we have plenty of grip on the back wheel, plenty of grip on the front wheel. Catch the center of the corner and then look up and let it run wide on the way out. And that'll be the smoothest arc the whole way around the corner. So if you want to start coming in a little bit more aggressive into the corners, we can help to like skid that back wheel around, really help it get round. On this corner, however, we have a number of rocks that if we try to skid it in, it's gonna get caught on these here rocks and we're gonna end up high siding. So we're gonna bring in the endo turn, lift that back wheel up, drop it in, and then ride off down the trail. So I've tried it a number of different ways to see if I could find a faster way to ride the corner. Maybe for riders like Sam Hill, five inches off the main line, he could get up on the inside and slam it around that corner. But for me, I think the fastest way is the smoothest way.